What does provide mean? The definition of provide is to deliver or to give. What does it mean to provide for a home? To provide for your kids? I think first about financially. I think a lot of dads do that, right? We have to provide food, shelter, we have to provide an education. But providing, it's so much more than just money. And that's what this course is going to go over. All the ways in which you can become a better provider in your home. How can you provide as a dad? There's providing leadership. There's providing time. You can provide confidence. Any characteristic or any trait is something that you can provide in your home. As we begin this course, I want to start out and introduce you to Professor Drew Pittman. And Drew is a NFL agent and he's going to talk a little bit about leadership. So without further ado, here's Drew. It's all about leadership. And, and the great football coaches are great leaders. And I think if, if as dads we can emulate that, then it gives us a leg up because a lot of men, and I, I speak to a lot of men all over the country and, and I run the men's ministry at my church, and a lot of guys, they'll look at me and they'll go, oh, Drew, you know, you're just a natural leader. And I'm just really not a leader. But the thing about it is God designed all of us men to be leaders. It wasn't like, well, there's going to be some of you who are going to be leaders and some of you who, who don't ever have to lead. We're all leading something or somebody. And so the thing I always encourage men to, to do is to accept and embrace your role as a leader and realize that, that you've been given everything that you need to be a great leader. Now, to some, it comes very easy. To others, it's not so easy. But just because something's not easy doesn't mean that you don't do it. As men, we find the, the leaders that, that we think are good leaders, and if we can emulate them, then it's going to help you out. And, and for me and for a lot of guys, because most guys are, are sports fans, you know, if we can emulate great coaches, then um, it, it can help us out. And, and, you know, there's a lot of coaches that aren't great coaches and they are great leaders. And, you know, they, they lead by intimidation or they, they lead in the wrong way. So we have to be careful. But I think there's plenty of great coaches out there. And quite frankly, I think what I've done is, is I've taken – what I feel like are the good traits from a lot of different people and, and a lot of different coaches. And, and then some of the traits maybe that, they, that I, I don't appreciate about them as leaders, I don't emulate those. Next, Drew's gonna talk a little bit about leadership styles. Because as a dad, you wanna pinpoint what your style is in your home. Here's Drew whether it be Bill Parcells or um, Bill Belichick or Jimmy Johnson, for example, those guys have much different leadership styles than um, a Tony Dungy or a Grant Taft or, or a Tom Landry. It doesn't mean that one is right and the other is wrong. It's just, you know, you have to, you have to understand who you are. You have to understand what your style is. But also, you have to understand what about your style really isn't effective and really isn't beneficial for your, your wife and your kids, and then, and then make changes. So we all should lead, but that doesn't mean we all lead in the same way. One dad might lead completely different than another dad. What is your leadership style? You have to understand who you are, what your style is, and what about your style is or isn't effective. Is there anything that you should make changes with in regard to your leadership style. If you're not sure where to start yet, in the next segment, in the next video, we're going to talk about a more practical side of leadership and how we can apply it in the home. Thanks for watching this first video. And remember, to provide first thing in your home, provide leadership.